Okay. What do I want the world to know about Mackenzie? <sighs> Mackenzie was just the brightest, brightest little girl. Um, from her smile to her laughter, her eyes, her personality, everything was just bright. The kid never stopped smiling. You know, she really taught us that words didn't need to be spoken to have a conversation, to know what she was feeling. Uh, Mackenzie was um, born, you know, as what they thought was an ap atypical child. Uh, wasn't until sort of the nine month sort of check where the doctors sort of started listening to me that they could see that Mackenzie's development was a bit delayed. We needed that uh, extra support. So, you know, being on my own, not having family here, um, and Mackenzie's condition being life limiting, um, the, our medical teams thought that Hummingbird House would be a, a suitable place for Mackenzie. You know, as soon as you walk in, I just, I just remember walking and then going, wow, this is just, this is just beautiful. Mackenzie had everything she needed to medically support her, um, to be cared for as a family unit was life-changing for us. You know, it was a place that I couldn't wait till the next visit. So after a few, a few trips to Hummingbird House, Mackenzie could feel where we were on our route to the house and she could be asleep in the back seat of the car. She would wake up if she was asleep or if she was already awake. The smile was just so big. That's all you could see in your rear view mirror was the smile and the laughter. You know, it got to the point that we couldn't even tell her, like as she got older, we couldn't even tell her the night before that she was going because she wouldn't go to sleep. As the years went on, I knew that when Mackenzie's time came, that that's where I wanted to be. If I had a choice, I really wanted Mackenzie's token to, to make it this year. Um, obviously I had hoped that she would have been here, um, but I knew that this year was probably gonna be our last opportunity. It's a little bit harder that she's not here. The fact that I had a place to be with her, that she loved so much, a place that um, all the resources were there, you know, for me to, to just be her mum. And that was always very important to me. Um, that at the end I didn't want to be her nurse and I didn't want to be her carer and I just wanted to be in the moment with her is something I will be forever grateful for but without Hummingbird House I wouldn't have been able to do that.